two premium smartphones running Android. Which one is better in every way? This is jdominilashaker.com. Let's go straight ahead and find out the answer in our ultimate comparison of Huawei Nexus 6P and Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. In terms of design, the Z5 Premium is the more rugged, yet luxurious format too. It features glass back with chrome finish, creating a mirror effect. It's waterproof and dust resistance for up to 1.5 meters deep. Set of ports are standard having a micro USB, an extra dedicated shutter key aside from the volume rocker, and power lock combination. Its fingerprint sensor is integrated at the power button. The Nexus 6P is a product of Huawei and Google's partnership to bring Android Marshmallow into a premium device. The 6P features metal body with glass camera island occupying the top part. It's also promoting USB Type-C port along with its Nexus 5X by LG. Perhaps the 6P is the very true premium smartphone I have seen from the Nexus line. It is worth mentioning 6P has faster accurate fingerprint sensor than Z5. There is no denying that both phablet looks gorgeous in their own way. So I'll leave the choice to you on which you think is sexier and sturdier in between the two. On display, the 4K ultra high definition display of Sony Xperia Z5 Premium at 5.5 size is no gimmick. We proved that in our unboxing and hands-on. It beats the Nexus 6P with a 5.7 inch AMOLED Quad HD resolution in terms of sharpness and contrast, though both are still compelling displays. I have to admit that I'm a fan of AMOLED screens because they save a lot of battery life and offer wider better viewing angles. However, Huawei just messed up a little especially in calibration. One of the movie looks washed up on Nexus 6P compared to Z5. So this time around, my vote goes to the 4K screen of the Z5 Premium because of 4K display do make a difference. The 12 megapixel camera of the Nexus 6P was able to hang in for a short period of time when put side by side to the 20 megapixel sensor of Z5 Premium. It produced some pleasing shots with good levels of saturation and contrast. But upon closer inspection, Z5 totally kicks out the Nexus 6P in color accuracy and little preservation. Sharpness or textures acquaintance. Overall exposure and white balance too are far better on Z5 Premium, especially in low light and night shot. On video shooting mode, both have excellent little preservation. Color on 6P is slightly more vibrant but is more accurate on Z5 Premium. The Z5 also performs effortlessly in focusing and stabilization. The hybrid stabilization or steady shot of Sony is still the king of balance. Check out the video of Sony Xperia Z5 Classic vs the Note 5 vs the G4 and the iPhone 6S camera test with the link. So now, which do you think is a better camera phone basing from those pictures? Is the Z5 Premium or the Nexus 6P?
In performance test, we did take a look on the benchmark scores and actual speed test. Zell Vibram is slightly faster despite having the same Snapdragon 810 octa card chip and 3GB RAM as the Nexus 6P. Both Antutu and Basemark OS 2 favor to the Zell 5 as well on the Geekbench and speed test. In reality, those numbers are just half of the story, so in the real world, performance might be different. The important thing is that both run Android smoothly and stutter free. By the way, 6P is running SAC Android 6.0 Marshmallow, whereas the Z5 Premium is on 5.1 Lollipop with custom Xperia UI on top, on battery test, and using Manila Shaker standard. The Nexus 6P with 3450 mAh lasted almost 9 hours and HA video playback. Compared to 8 hours Xperia Z5 with 3430 mAh, remember that it's just on video playback. Real life usage will vary if standby time or browsing and voice code are added on a test. Also, the Z5 is kind of doing some upscale to the video to higher resolution, which makes the output sharper and have deeper colors, but greatly affect the battery life. We will check out further and confirm this if upscaling to 4K really does happen. For charging time, we use a 1.8 ampere charger in Xperia Z5 Premium, which is not the fastest wall charger available. For Nexus 6P, the charger is way powerful with 3 ampere rating, almost double from Z5 Premium's charger that comes in the box. Charging time took 1 hour and 45 minutes for the Nexus 6P and 2 hours and 10 minutes on Z5 Premium. Surely you will get faster charging time on Z5 if you use a faster charger with Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0. Both feature stereo speakers at the front. Surprisingly, Nexus 6P has much better output in terms of volume and clarity. Bass is stronger while vocals are clearer when compared to Z5 Premium. For the pricing, currently Sony Xperia Z5 Premium costs around 800 US dollar on 30 gigabyte, while the Nexus 6P is priced around 700 dollar for the 64 gigabyte. If converted to Philippines and India, pricing may vary due to taxes. With Sony Philippines accepting pre-orders as of this moment. All told, we will also be publishing a new camera comparison featuring the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium, the Galaxy Note 5, the new LG V10, and also the Nexus 6P in the upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. On final words, we want to be fair to all our comparisons that we make. That's why on this video, we will leave the decision to you guys if which is the better buy between the Huawei Nexus 6P and Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like our video if you enjoyed this. You can also check out ManageShare.com for news, tutorials, reviews, and for our solution photos. This is Jade. Thanks for watching.